For today's Proving Science Wrong, I turned Daniel into a pair of scissors. I just decided I needed scissors more than I needed someone reading a magazine on my bed. Remember these? Well, it's time to snip off Pluto. Being half the size of Antarctica just couldn't have helped. And then there was the question of all that unorthodox orbiting. Pluto is no longer a planet. Ceres, Xena, UB313, these are Pluto's new friends. Do they sound like the kids that you want to eat lunch with? No way! So today, instead of proving science wrong, we're going to help Pluto adjust to his new peer group. First thing you're going to have to learn to deal with, rings. I know a couple of your old friends had them, Saturn, Jupiter, but you're going to have to accept that these new friends of yours don't have rings. As you probably know, I've been homeschooled most of my life. And then I went to high school. During my first week there, I had this teacher that I really liked. And he was really into stars, and I love stars. So I asked a lot of questions. So pretty soon, kids started saying that I thought I was so smart or something. And I told myself that I didn't care, and then they started saying that I was from a star. I kept asking questions. So finally they stopped calling me star girl and they stopped saying that I thought that I was smart and instead they started saying that I was doing something with my teacher. And that's when I stopped asking questions about stars. 